Hey, welcome back. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you. Uh, giving us thumbs up, all the watch time, leaving us comments. Uh, so today we w really want to address some of the questions we've been getting on our, you know, five things to know, you know, about how much pe the dogs eat, you know, how much uh, do they poop, obviously, is a big question we get a lot. Uh, you know, what kind of square footage of a house or an apartment works well. And we're going to give you all those different answers to those questions, you know, right after this. Alright, so starting off with our most asked question is, well, do you happen to have a big house for, you know, basically 300 pounds of dog, right? And the answer is no. We're actually in a much, I would say, below average, at least statistically, from a household size. Um, our house currently just a little bit over uh, 1,200 square feet. So, you know, nothing that's going to be super extravagant. I did look up the stat. It said 2,400 square feet the average here in the U.S. That seems a bit large to me. But, um, you know, that's what we kind of are working off of. So in that case, right, two big dogs uh, would definitely plays a role. So I'll show you a quick picture there of the dogs' uh, crates, right? They're kind of in our, I'd say, kitchen breakfast nook area. Um, so they take up a big, big amount of space. Um, plus, you know, when they're looking to run around uh, the house, obviously it's nice for us to at least be able to throw them outside. Again, not working with a big backyard, but... Again, something that's at least suitable. One main thing I'll definitely say if you're looking at living in an apartment with a with a new or if you're looking to live in a kind of a smaller house like like we are, it's definitely to kind of keep keep their mental and physical stimulation going, right? So obviously, just like any dog, right? You got to go for walks. They're not a breed that wants to go for a run, but you know they are intelligent, and so they do want to work. Uh, Baloo loves to go get the mail. Right, I give them the junk mail, let them carry it in. Uh, that way, it gets all slobbered, and we don't care about it anyways. Um, you know, but he does a great job of stuff like that. Giving them small tasks every single day, and then you know, I would say we do a fair amount of training, right? So, uh, if it was you know getting Baloo to go fetch beer, uh, if it's Bianca, we we did a little bit of agility, you know, things like that. Um, you know, we've definitely been working on, and so and with COVID. And, Everything else, uh, we haven't been able to go do his therapy, uh, the hospitals. So, been making sure to do more training at home, working on some of these kind of more fun, you know, things that don't necessarily have a purpose, but just to stimulate their brains. Another question we get asked a lot is uh, if the dogs like to snuggle, and the quick answer is uh, Baloo, not so much. I mean, he gets way too hot and all goes right to the air vent. Uh, especially during this time of the year, loves the AC, huh, Baloo? And then, uh, you know, Bianca, she definitely likes to cuddle when it's convenient to her in the morning or when you have food, you're sitting on the couch, loves to come in, you know, put her head there and just be like, oh, you've got food, I would love to cuddle with you. So it's more so in that realm than necessarily looking to be uh, just cuddling for the purpose of cuddling. So we got a good hanger here for Baloo. Look at him. Oh, gotta love that drool. So he's being my good buddy sitting here with a, you know, doing a video, huh, Baloo? Oh, good job. So next question really comes down to, well, how much do they eat? Um, so our two, I would say, are still still growing, right? Uh, when we've gone to the vet, they're still putting on small amounts of weight here and there. Um, but, you know, we're kind of looking at about seven cups of food you know, per day. So about three and a half in the morning, uh, three and a half at night. Um, for us, we actually just had to switch, you know, from, we, we've been feeding Fromms, Love Fromms, uh, Puppy Gold, but found out uh, Baloo's allergic to chicken. So we had to switch over to a chicken-free diet, get all new treats, uh, you know, get new food. And so, you know, we'll show you, we'll provide the link to the new food below. Uh, it's Zenergy, it still has that grain in. Um, our local store here, you know, did a great job of always taking care of us, uh, Bark Wash. So definitely, you know, give a look to them if you're here in Idaho and, uh, you know, per, you know, gave us great customer service and said, hey, we know that you were looking for a grain in food and uh, this is a great option for you. That's also chicken free. So thanks to them. Um, but yeah, 
I mean, seven, seven cups of food about a day when you're looking at feeding each dog. So for us, 14 cups. So what must go in must come out, right? Uh, question, you know, I'd say we get probably 90% of the time when we go on a walk, you know, someone's like, oh man, that must be the largest, you know, dog to ever poop in a yard ever. Um, and, you know, my response, you know, is always to kind of just laugh and, you know, say, yeah, I mean, it's, they're fairly large. Um, you know, but I wouldn't say that it was uh, any significant amount larger than, you know, when our Malamute in our lab. Uh, so, you know, again, big dog, but I'm not going to say uh, poops any more or less than any other dog. Um, so, you know, again, got to pick it up. You know, that's always fun when you're looking at two dogs in a smallish yard, but, you know, nothing we wouldn't do, you know, for our dogs every single day. So let's say final question that we get asked a lot is, uh, you know, oh my gosh, like, do you ride them? And uh, again, no, we do not. Um, Baloo would not be able to, you know, take me riding on his back or, you know, anything like that. Um, but it is fun if you, you get a small baby and you just kind of hold them there for like a second or something and get a picture. Um, but, you know, no nobody's riding around on a noof for sure. So with that, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, hey, thanks for watching. Um, again, if you haven't subscribed already, we'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps the algorithm. As you can see with that five things to know, you know, before you get a newfie, you can see the, just the amount of, you know, traffic that's going to that because you guys are out there giving it a thumbs up, leaving us a comment, and we'd be happy to answer any more questions that you guys have uh, in the future. So leave any questions you have in the comments below, and uh, we'll make another video here soon. Thank you.